what's good it's your boy swaby gaming and we back with another nba infinite video and season two is here it looks like we got a lot to unpack so we're gonna go through the update and see what the changes that they made and the new things that they added to the game so let's go ahead and read our messages so you have unclaimed rewards from past events please check okay and then what is this message mission activity reward delivered re-delivery mail content okay so all right so that's just pretty much some missions that we got um we're gonna go ahead and um claim all this stuff real quick get this out of the way okay um okay so let's look at this so we got the legacy scoring uh, it's pretty much score points right here play games daily login okay we can claim that um okay um, let's see what we got so i guess you get legacy pieces um we'll figure out what that goes to then you got the legacy exchange that's similar to what season one was it's just a different coin to download it i mean to download it to uh unlock those things uh we got the regular wildlife wednesday event let's go ahead and claim the daily login rewards okay invitation rewards okay so this is not looking too good right here for the simple fact that people have already been playing so trying to get people to join and hit level eight eh, uh probably won't be trying to complete that but hey y'all seen the code go ahead and use that if you um want to help your boy get those rewards i mean it won't hurt but it's not really gonna change anything like sixty thousand gold isn't much um okay they're hosting a live q a so they still looking at the player base and helping us out okay so we're just going through this man see what we got collect everything let's see this okay so the playoffs are almost here welcome to the beginning of season two legacy awakens we got some balances to the game so we got jimmy butler they um buffed his stats so they buffed his mid-range by like 90 got some new skills they gave him a step back level three catch and shoot at unlocks at two three and four um level two corner specialist okay okay so then we got um this is for brandon ingram i never played against this card before so he got some buffs as well I don't know what they mean because I've never seen them before. I need to look at that card though. DeMar DeRozan, he got increased movement speed, first step masters at one, three, four, acceleration master at one, three, and four. Jamal Murray got a speed boost. Okay, that's with the ball, off ball defense and dribbling, pump fake skill. Okay, they buffed Jokic, he got max speed. Okay, we're looking at this. Uh, we're just kind of skimming through it. Okay, so well, they gave him some buffs. And this, this, these buffs right here will buff your teammates as well. So that's going to be good. Remove tough shot finisher. Okay. Um, got some good stuff in here, man, so far. As far as, like, uh, the player balancing. So Luca, he got uh, expanded range on like triggering area for his uh up and under layup okay he got shifty master first step master and euro step layup is added to his skills trey young had a remove he they removed the dunk fake pass um i agree because trey young is not really known for dunking the ball um address something where he be Running and jump shots, even though you're not moving the joystick. Okay, they gave him the step back. You get it a little bit earlier. Damian Lillard. Okay, that's the same thing for Devin Booker. Um, they increased the range of something. Okay, Zion. They took away his layup fake and pump fake and pass, and added a dunk fake and pass. That's actually good. Jalen Green got a nice buff, so he went from an 88 to an 89. They increased his dunk. His dribbles, layups, and mid-range. So we might have to do gameplay with uh, with Jalen Green, man. He's gonna be a, a nice little rare card that you could use a, a budget beast, basically. Okay, so we got some more buffs right here. Jason Tatum, they nerfed him a little bit. So his clutch shooter went from three to one and they removed the pump fake Hezzy, okay. They nerfed Paul George. 
His pull up has been decreased from four to two and then unlimited range from three to one. That's good. I don't know why they nerfed Clint Capella. People weren't using him like that anyway, but okay. And this is one of the biggest ones that I think is right here. This nerf to Bogdanovich. I think it was well uh, deserved. They gave, they took away pump fake pass, took away unlimited range and decreased his uh, three point pull up from three to two and mid range from three to one. Okay. They decreased Bam's rebounding power. So he's not going to be getting rebounds like that. Elite rebounder from three to two for Brooke Lopez. And then we got general adjustments on the contesting mechanics. So hopefully that's a good thing because we did need it. Adjusted the effective range of heavily contested, making it easier to cause heavily contest. Increased the contest caused by close distance and jump blocks. Okay. Height advantage and hoop giant. Decreased the bonus buff from 50 to 100 to 10 from 10 to 10 to 50 okay clutch shooter they added anti-contesting bonuses 5 10 15 if the opponent chooses not to block from skill level 3 and above okay and then the pump fake and hesitation skill optimize the controls for the stage of the skill triggering okay so we got some pretty good stuff in there man um but i'm not saying anything that's just wowing me right now let's check out the uh the, the battle pass now i will be getting this um i might do it tomorrow um and we might go ahead and um collect that as you can see i bought the previous battle pass late so we still have all of those diamonds from that i might just um save every reward from this battle pass until i finish it and max it out and then we'll start to go through um and see what cards they add and spend my diamonds accordingly so we're just gonna we're kind of gonna hoard stuff these uh for this season we're gonna hoard because they're dropping players at a very slow rate but this clippers uh mascot he looks uh pretty dope if you ask me and i do like the the little outfit that they have um i think the first one was better but this one is pretty nice i think it should have been gold on the pants instead of yellow it's pretty nice though it's decent it's decent okay let's see what else we got in here um let's go to the store everything pretty much looks the same in the store yeah the store looks pretty much the same okay let's check out this legacy awakens this is what we got to do so win a pvp game um okay so they didn't reset your win percentage or your total games played but let me go ahead and add this um this past one um for my uh avatar frame we're gonna go ahead and add that until i get the second one which i'll probably be doing tomorrow so y'all be on the lookout for that when we drop that video i know i haven't been um making videos but i had to take a break man i'm tired i know i didn't stream this weekend and we might not stream it this next weekend either just for the simple fact that i have some things that i need to do um to get done and it needs to be done in a timely manner because it has to be done before june 4th so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and get all that stuff out the way so we can be consistent again with the streams but looking at the um is this the home or is this yeah this is the home uh mvp pass um set so it's pretty nice it's pretty nice man so it's not really much that's game breaking in this update i, I do like some of the um some of the adjustments that they made as far as like the players and then um especially with the shot the shot um contest i haven't played anything just yet but we're gonna go ahead and claim this uh legend season pack distinguished player i did barely use this curry bro okay let me see what we get out of here 240k gold not bad it's like selling a um a epic player one of the lower tiers okay so this um option to choose players at higher ranks okay oh that's um pretty much the same right there but we uh we're not gonna play no games in this today but uh so far it doesn't look like they really did much um hopefully throughout throughout the coming weeks they do actually add new players 
Um, let's check the leaderboard. So the leaderboards have reset. David said he gonna score more points than me this season, and um, I told him uh, keep dreaming. Um, I don't think so, but uh, we'll be right back up there in the top 100. We was like number 38 with points, so we're gonna be right back up there. I've gotten better at the game, but let's see what they changed in these uh, the hoop draft. They didn't really do much changes. Okay, they still have Donovan Mitchell and Pascal Siakam and Julius Randle, which nobody wants to buy Julius Randle. So this pack, they didn't change anything in this. And we still have the same three legendaries as when the game came out. So hopefully they do some changes to this stuff, man. Hopefully this whole hoop drive gets a, a makeover in the coming weeks because it's actually uh, kind of boring. And it's not as free to play friendly anymore. But season two is here. It's your boy Swaby Gaming, and I'm out.